The scripture we're gonna talk about today comes from John chapter 12, verses one through eight, and it says this. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus lived, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. Here, a dinner was given in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard and expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But one of the disciples, Judas Iscariot, who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As the keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put in it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you, but you will not always have me. There's so much for us to learn from this scripture. We see this familiar scene with Lazarus reclining at the table with Jesus. We see Martha serving. And where do we find Mary? We find her at the feet of Jesus. Mary somehow knew that Jesus was gonna have to die. And she was doing this act of worship to prepare him for his burial. What a beautiful, beautiful act. The, another significant thing about this perfume is that um, it, was, it was very expensive and it was considered a luxury, but it was also a perfume that was used to prepare bodies for, for burial. But perfume was also used in a preparation for kings that were go going to enter into their coronation to become a king of Judah. They were also anointed with perfume like this. And so you can see how Jesus was being anointed in preparation for all that was to come. We know at this point that the Pharisees are trying to get rid of Jesus because they have become, they see Jesus is becoming a nuisance to them. We know that the disciples are preoccupied with money, but Mary, she's humbly sitting at the feet of Jesus. And it wasn't even appropriate for her to be there at this point because it was inappropriate for a woman of her standing to be in this setting with her hair down. And yet Mary wasn't concerned about that. She wanted to worship her Savior out of complete humility. She so desperately wanted to be near Him. And I have to ask myself, do I so desperately want to be at the feet of my Savior? And if so, what am I doing about that? I wanna encourage you to, to spend time in your Bible, read your Bible every day. We talk at Emmanuel Church about read it, write it, pray it, share it. We need to be reading the Word of God daily. But we wanna encourage you to write something down in a journal that stood out to you because that helps our learning. We wanna create that into a prayer so we can pray it throughout the day so it will sink in deep. And we encourage you to share it with others um, because that's a great way for others to learn what God is teaching us as well. I wanna encourage you to spend time in prayer every day, not only talking, but also listening to God. Look for ways that God is at work around you because when you look for God, you are going to encounter your Messiah.